Um, the President brought up the issue of uh, Jamal Khashoggi, as you mentioned, and uh, His Royal Highness's response was that this is an issue that is uh, tremendously painful for Saudi Arabia, that we uh, uh, dealt with this matter, that it was uh, referred, investigated, that it was referred to the courts, and that the courts issued verdict against the uh, um, uh, accused, and uh, a number of them have been sentenced to uh, serve time in jail, and they're doing so as we speak. So we took action, the uh, uh, people were punished, and that Saudi Arabia put in place mechanisms to ensure that this doesn't happen again. And the Crown Prince made the point that mistakes happen in, in many places. The year Jamal Khashoggi was murdered, a number of other journalists were murdered around the world. What has happened in dealing with them? The mistakes are made, including by the United States. We all recall Abu Ghraib, and His Highness made the point that uh, the United States investigated, held people responsible, and put in place mechanisms to ensure that it doesn't happen again. This is what civilized countries do. Um, unfortunately, there are mistakes that are made by other countries where people don't do what is what needs to be done, and that's not the case of Saudi Arabia. We have a, a, a recent case that is one hand spot up, the killing of the Palestinian uh, American journalist in uh, in uh, in. Uh, in Israel, and the question was, what is the United States doing about it, and what are others doing about this case? So, mistakes happen, unfortunately, um, in many places, and the key is how you deal with it. And in Saudi Arabia, we have taken uh, very serious steps and very effective steps to not only deal with it, but also put in place mechanisms to ensure it doesn't happen again. So you'd say the United States and Saudi Arabia today are on the same page? I believe uh, the issue of, of human rights, for example, came up uh, in terms of a general context. And His Royal Highness' response is that we're very serious about human rights. We care about our people. We care about their right to security, their right to jobs, and uh, their right to health care, their right to education, their right to opportunity. Um, and we have our own value system. And countries have different value systems. And you cannot impose values by one country on another country. You have to respect the different values. Um, the United States tried to impose or export its values to Afghanistan and Iraq, and it backfired. Doesn't work. We are. Do you think that's what they're trying to do to Russia and Ukraine? I think it's not. Uh, there are values that we all can agree on. There are values that uh, are unique to certain to different countries, but we can't expect the people we deal with to share our values. 100%. If that were the case, and His Royal Highness made this point to the President, he said, if you uh, want to deal with countries that share your values totally, the only countries you're dealing with would probably be in Western Europe. Um, we have differences. It doesn't mean that one is good and one is bad. It just means that countries have certain uniquenesses to them, and this is something that we deal with through dialogue, through interaction, and the more we engage with each other, the more we trade, the more we invest, the more we have cultural exchanges, the more we have dialogue, I think, the more we move towards a, a common uh, worldview. But as long, but until we get there, we each have to respect our different values and our different cultures. 